Hello, blessings, guys, and happy full moon. This is High Priestess Jamila. Here to show you guys a quick and easy way to reverse a hex. Uh, if it's a really bad curse that's on you, you can also add this in addition to your other workings. That will make it happen super duper fast. All right, so what you're going to need is... I've already prepared a lot of this. This is one of the steps that I take if you have a really, really stubborn curse on you, okay? Uh, and I do this in addition to the other workings that I do, okay? So I have already prepared uh, my candle. I could not find my rosemary oil for some reason. So basically what you're going to do and I'm just going to lighten up that rosemary for protection. What you do is you want to go not on this end of an onion, but you want to go at this end. And what's down inside of here is coffee grinds and nettle leaf. And I'm going to stick a little bit of rosemary down in there. I would have preferred to have my rosemary essential oil i must it must have rolled somewhere or something i had a bunch of stuff going on earlier today so i'm just going to take some of this rosemary and not that much i don't need that much but maybe like a pinch okay that's about a pinch i'm going to take this rosemary and stick it down in there okay all right nice so we got the rosemary um, you're going to also need a black candle. You can use white, red if you don't have black or either purple. And then you're going to want to use some foil. Okay. <laughs> so basically what you do is you do need a petition. And this is real simple. Um, this is the rest of the guts of the onion. Uh, basically what you do is you just go, you take your knife, your dagger, or either it can be a kitchen knife and you just... Kind of carve a hole in there and you want the hole to be deep enough so that your petition can be folded and stuffed down in there. Now I'm going to take my petition and I don't want to show you guys the petition, but basically um, I have a tendency to write all of my petitions in Latin. That way I can keep the translation. Mm, eucalyptus oil. I'm going to anoint the petition in eucalyptus oil. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to anoint both sides because I have it written front to back. And kind of put like a line of it, uh, like a just anoint the enemy's name with the eucalyptus because eucalyptus will clear away negative energies. You can also use camphor. Okay, let me see if I can get more light here. Yep, and I can. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on down in there. All right, so you're going to take your petition, and um, I have already consecrated everything, right? I consecrated the candle. I consecrated the onion. I even consecrated the foil, okay? And so you're going to take your petition, and you're going to fold it once away from you. And once I fold it, I'll show it to you guys. So you're going to fold it going up and away from you. And then you're going to go again away from you and then again away from you. But more so the last time you're going to kind of do a little bit kind of towards you, but then down uh, because it's it's all about transmutation. OK, it depends on what you're doing. If you're just really trying to get rid of some stuff then you'll just want to fold it away from you. Now we're going to take the petition and we're just going to stuff it down in here, okay? And you can kind of fold it to get it stuffed down in there really good, but you just want it stuffed in there, okay? Now we're going to take our candle and we're going to light it, okay? It doesn't have to be dressed. You can dress it afterwards. It doesn't have to have oils on it or anything at this point. Because basically what I am doing, uh, and you see that, yep. All right, and we're just going to, really? Okay, sometimes we have to let it kind of burn a little bit. And we're just going to seal this to seal the intent down in there. Now, 
Um, I use a lot of visualizations with my workings, a lot. Um, so I'm actually visualizing what I want to happen. Onions are phenomenal for breaking curses. They are phenomenal. Um, I use them on all of my client workings, even if I make a witch bottle for you or if I make a um, uh, whatever it is. If I use a seven day candle, I always, always, always use an onion and onions are very, very abundant and they should be. That's a good thing. So I'm just going to let this drip. And normally I work with a aluminum foil pan, but mine, the only one that I have right now that's clean is actually being used for something. So I'm using this plastic bag. Okay, so I'm just going to let this drip in there. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to seal the intent. Okay. So you want to make sure that you cover that petition all the way up and I'll be right back. Got a neat little fire drip that I wanted to show you guys. I love when that happens. I'm almost done. You want to focus on your intent exactly as, as far as like what you want. I always like to put an outcome on there. All right, so that is filled up enough. And now we have like the guts of it. And I like to stick that back down in there. Okay. And then I'm going to relight the candle and start sealing this in here. Okay, so you're just going to take it and let me zoom out a little bit. You're just going to take it and go around the rim, okay, of that onion and just go around a few times. Maybe counterclockwise, maybe two or three times or however many times you feel is necessary. You can also do some really, really good bindings this way as well. And I'm going to start going. Oh, man, I'm going to have to make a part two. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I'm definitely running out of time here. So I'll make a quick part two once I run out of time. I'm just going to keep dripping that until I feel as though there is a nice seal on it. All right, so I've got like one minute left and I have sealed it all around while focusing on my intent. And then, so what I'm gonna do with this foil is I want the reflector side of the foil to face the inside of the onion. And I'm just going to fold it up. And what I, what you want to do or what I will do is I will be burying it or you can throw it into the woods. Okay. If you have that nearby your area. Okay. And that's it. Now, this is just one of many things that I do for client workings. Um, but this works like a charm. I always add this to my reversals or my hex breakers. And that's pretty much it. Make sure that you follow, like, and share. Bye. Bless.